Let me start. Yeah, please go ahead. We were like in Dubai and right now we need to think of ways of where we're going to be in our future, you know, uh, when we retire. We were looking at real estate from an emotional perspective, like something else we would do. I never looked at at it as an investment and selling it and making money out, making more money out of it and buying it in the right area, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. This is where he came in, the, you know, and and made us look at it in a different way, taking the emotion out of it and just focusing on the investment. Everything that came, the events that followed that, um, the way they fell into place. Yeah, the way they fell into place. Yeah. It was like. It was meant to be. Yeah. It was going to happen. And, and, and you just had to believe that what you did was the right thing. And we got it. I still remember that moment. I was sitting in Zanzibar. <laughs> and I started crying. I started jumping up and down. I think the people who were helping at the house were saying, oh my god, this Lebanese guy coming from the UAE, what, what is he doing? Why is he jumping? There's nobody around him. And this was when I received the call to say that we got it. And this is when I really felt that now I'm the proud owner of, of a beautiful house that I'm going to hopefully enjoy. And, um, and it was ecstatic. Rafat went to see it when it was first finished. And then I spent some time working with the company to furnish it so that we could rent it out. And then I went to London and saw it too. And it just felt really funny being there and knowing that someone else is going to live in it. It was very good. Like it was a very, um, ah, like satisfactory moment.